Proverbs 22 A beautiful reputation is more to be desired than great riches and to be esteemed by others is more honourable than to own immense investments. The rich and the poor have one thing in common. The Lord God created each one. A prudent person with insight foresees danger coming and prepares himself for it. But the senseless rush blindly forward and suffer the consequences. Laying your life down in tender surrender before the Lord will bring life, prosperity and honour as your reward. Twisted and perverse lives are surrounded by demonic influence. If you value your soul, stay far away from them. Dedicate your children to God and point them in the way they should go and the values they've learned from you will, will be with them for life. If you borrow money with interest, you'll end up serving the interests of your creditors for the rich rule over the poor. Sin is a seed that brings a harvest. You'll reap a heap of trouble with every seed you plant. For your investment in sins pays a full return and the full punishment you deserve. When you are generous to the poor, you are enriched with blessings in return. Say goodbye to a troublemaker and you'll say goodbye to quarrels, strife, tension and arguments. For a troublemaker traffics in shame. The Lord loves those whose hearts are holy and he is the friend of those whose ways are pure. God passionately watches over his deep reservoir of revelation knowledge, but he subverts the lies of those who pervert the truth. A slacker always has an excuse for not working, like, I can't go to work, there's a lion outside, and murderers too. Sex with an adulteress is like falling into the abyss. Those under God's curse jump right into their own destruction. Although rebellion is woven into a young man's heart, Tough discipline can make him into a man. There are two kinds of people headed toward poverty. Those who exploit the poor and those who bribe the rich. Sayings of the wise sages. Listen carefully and open your heart. Drink in the wise revelation that I impart. You become winsome and wise when you treasure the beauty of my words and always be prepared to share them at the appropriate time. For I am releasing these words to you this day, yes, even to you, so that your living hope will be found in God alone for he is the only one who is always true. Pay attention to these excellent sayings of threefold things for within my words you will discover true and reliable revelation. They will give you serenity so that you can reveal the truth of the word of the one who sends you. Never oppress the poor or pass laws 
with the motive of crushing there the weak. For the law will rise to plead their case and humiliate the one who humiliates the poor. Walk away from an angry man or you'll embrace a snare in your soul by becoming bad tempered just like him. Why would you ever guarantee a loan for someone else or promise to be responsible for someone's debts. For if you fail to pay, you could lose your shirt. The previous generation has set boundaries in place. Don't you dare move them just to benefit yourself. If you are uniquely gifted in your work, you will rise and be promoted. You won't be held back. You'll stand before kings. Proverbs 23 Wisdom will protect you. When you've been invited to dine with a very important leader, consider your manners and keep in mind whom you're with. Be careful to curb your appetite and catch yourself before you fall into the trap of wanting all you see. Don't crave their delicacies, for they may have another motive in having you sit at their table. Don't compare yourself to the rich. Surrender your selfish ambition and evaluate them properly. For no sooner do you start counting your wealth than it sprouts wings and flies away like an eagle in the sky. Here today, gone tomorrow. Be sensible when you dine with a stingy man and don't eat more than you should. For as he thinks within himself, so is he. He will grudgingly say, Go ahead and eat all you want. But in his heart, he resents the fact that he has to pay for your meal. You'll be sorry you ate anything at all. And all your compliments will be wasted. A rebellious fool despise your wise advice. So don't even waste your time. Save your breath. Never move a long-standing boundary line or attempt to take land that belongs to the fatherless. For they have a mighty protector, a loving redeemer who watches over them and he will stand up for their cause. Pay close attention to the teachings that corrects you. Open your heart to every word of instruction don't withhold appropriate discipline from your child. Go ahead and punish him when he needs it. Don't worry, it won't kill him. A good spanking could be the very thing that teaches him a lifelong lesson. My beloved child, when your heart is full of wisdom, my heart is full of gladness. When you speak anointed words, we are speaking mouth to mouth. Don't allow the actions of evil men to cause you to burn with anger. Instead, burn with unrelenting passion as you worship God in holy awe. Your future is bright and filled with a living hope that will never fade away. As you listen to me, my beloved child, you will grow in wisdom and your heart will be drawn into understanding which will empower you to make right decisions. Don't live in the excesses of drunkenness or gluttony 
or waste your life away by partying all the time because drunkards and gluttons sleep their lives away and end up broke. Give respect to your father and mother for without them you wouldn't even be here and don't neglect them when they grow old. Embrace the truth and hold it close. Don't let go of wisdom, instruction and life-giving understanding. When a father observes his child living in godliness, he is ecstatic with joy. Nothing makes him prouder. So may your father's heart burst with joy and your mother's soul be filled with gladness because of you. My son, give me your heart and embrace fully what I am about to tell you. Stay away from prostitutes and you'll stay away from the pit of destruction. For sleeping with a promiscuous woman is like falling into a trap that you'll never be able to escape. Like a robber hiding in the shadows She's waiting to claim another victim, another husband unfaithful to his wife, who has anguish, who has bitter sorrow, who constantly complains and argues, who stumbles and falls and hurts himself, who's the one with bloodshot eyes, it's the one who drinks too much and is always looking for a brew. Make sure it's never you. And don't be drunk with wine, but be known as one who enjoys the company of the lovers of God. For drunkenness brings the sting of a serpent like the fangs of a viper spreading poison into your soul. It will make you hallucinate, mumble, and speak words that are perverse. You'll be like a seasick sailor, being tossed to and fro, dizzy and out of your mind. You'll awake only to say, what hit me? I feel like I've been run over by a truck. Yet, off you'll go, looking for another drink. Proverbs 24 Wisdom's Warning Don't envy the wealth of the wicked or crave their company, for they're obsessed with causing trouble and their conversations are corrupt. Wise people are builders. They build families, businesses, communities, and through intelligence and insight, the enterprises are established and endure. Because of their skilled leadership, the hearts of people are filled with the treasures of wisdom and the pleasures of spiritual wealth. Wisdom can make anyone into a mighty warrior and revelation knowledge increases strength. Wise strategy is necessary to wage war and with many astute advisors you'll see the path to victory more clearly. Wisdom is a treasure too lofty for a quarrelling fool He'll have nothing to say when leaders gather together. There is one who makes plans to do evil. Master Schemer is his name. If you plan to do evil, it's as wrong as doing it. And everyone detests a troublemaker. If you faint when under pressure, you have need of courage. Go and rescue the perishing. Be their saviour. Why would you stand back 
and watch them stagger to their death. And why would you say, but it's none of my business? The one who knows you completely and judges your every motive is also the keeper of souls and not just yours. He sees through your excuses and holds you responsible for failing to help those whose lives are threatened. Revelation knowledge is a delicacy, sweet like flowing honey that melts in your mouth. Eat as much of it as you can, my friend, for then you will perceive what is true wisdom. Your future will be bright, and this hope living within you will never disappoint you. Listen up, you wicked, irreverent ones. Don't harass the lovers of God and don't invade their resting place. For the lovers of God may suffer adversity and stumble seven times, but they will continue to rise over and over again. But the unrighteous are brought down by just one calamity and will never be able to rise again. Never gloat when your enemy meets disaster and don't be quick to rejoice if he falls. For the Lord who sees your heart will be displeased with you and will pity your foe. Don't be angrily offended over evildoers or be agitated by them. For the wicked have no life and no future the light of life will die out. My child, stand in awe of Yahweh. Give counsel to others, but don't mingle with those who are rebellious, for sudden destruction will fall upon them and their lives will be ruined in a moment. And who knows what retribution they will face. Revelation from the wise. Those enlightened with wisdom have spoken these proverbs. Judgment must be impartial, for it is always wrong to be swayed by a person's status. If you say to the guilty, you are innocent, the nation will curse you and the people will revile you. But when you convict the guilty, the people will thank you and reward you with favour. Speaking honestly is a sign of true friendship. Go ahead, build your career and give yourself to your work. But if you put me first, you'll see your family built up. Why would you be a false accuser and slander with your own words? Don't ever spitefully say, I'll get even with him. I'll do to him what he did to me. One day I passed by the field of a lazy man and I noticed the vineyards of a slacker. I observed nothing but thorns, weeds and broken down walls. So I considered their lack of wisdom and I pondered the lessons I could learn from this. Professional work habits prevent poverty from becoming your permanent business partner and if you put off until tomorrow the work you could do today, tomorrow never seems to come.